Hi guys. So, while I'm still trying to figure out what this channel is going to be, I thought I would do a challenge that was popular a couple of years ago, but I'm new to booktube, so I've got nothing. Anyway, it's the flip the page book challenge, where you can much give yourself a new life using books on your shelves. Okay, I'm just, okay, I'm gonna do everything for my laptop here. I got the questions and the number. Anyway, um, so the first question is, you, you're you getting a new identity. Let, let the coordinates lead you to a book, flip to the page you were given, and the first name you see is now your new name. And I will, this, I think there's 15, yeah, I've got about 15 shelves with books actually on them. So let's generate a number. Shelf 15. That's the last shelf over there. I think there's about seven books on those shelves. So we'll go with seven. Book seven. So shelf 15, book seven. That brought me to The Housekeeper and the Professor by Yuko Ogawa. Which I have not read. It's translated from Japanese, so it seems like an interesting read. It's about this professor with only an 80 minute short term memory and the housekeeper that he lives with. Anyway, I will flip to a random page and show what my new name is Root. My name is Root. Cool. So I am Root. It's time to get up and move the heck out of your town. The location, the location of the book the coordinates lead you to will be where you are moving. Again, I'll do 1 to, fif one to 15. 6. Okay, I think that's that big shelf up there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, 6. It's about 25 books on there, but that's a longer shelf. Generate. 16. Okay. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So I'll move to Hogwarts. Cool. Jake rolling aside, this isn't... I still... I still do like the book series. Anyway, okay, so... My name is Root, and I'm moving to Hogwarts. You're all settled into your new home, but you have... To, but you've got to get a job to get the cash money flow going. Create a job using the first object you find with the coordinates and page number... So again, I'll do 1 to 15. That brings me to shelf 14, which is over there again. I think that's my graphic novel shelf, actually. One sec. Okay. And since those coordinates brought me to a cookbook, I went with the first actual novel on there. Username regenerated. Okay, and I will again just flip to a random page because this is a graphic novel and so page numbers in it anyway. Okay, let's see what I got. DJ. So I'm a DJ. Cool. Okay, question four. You've started a new job and are starting to develop villains for a co-worker. Flip to the, find the book using your coordinates, flip to the page number you were given, and the first character you come across will be the character you're falling for. And again, that's one to 15, 12. Again, that's over there. Six. One sec. <laughs> no, and I know it's going to be between one and seven. One. Be right back. And that brought me to Poisoned, which is a Snow White retelling. And I will just look to a random page and see who I'm falling for. First time I see is Will. 
no idea who Willow is. I haven't read this book yet. But cool. I am falling for a guy named Will. Next one is using the coordinates in the page number. The first piece of dialogue you come across will be the first thing you say to your potential lover. Okay, Let's see if it's a good line or a terrible one. Nine. Okay, and that's my children's bookshelf. So there's about there's about twelve books on there. Okay. Twelve. Be right back. And that brought me to a book called The Silver Sword, which I know is a children's book. Don't know much else about it. I got it off my grandmother's shelf when we saw the other house. Again, I will flip to a random page and see what dialogue I come up with. <laughs> and the first line I found is, I'm the occupation. I don't know what that means. That line really got to them. I don't see how. The line made no fucking sense. Next thing you know, you're in love. Wow, that was fast. You're going to propose, but buying a wedding ring is still expensive. Using the coordinates and flipping to the page number you were given, the first object you come across will be what you propose with. Okay, so let's do it. 1 to 15. Let's do the shelf 8. Okay, and again, I, again, I'll just put twelve. This, okay, and book six. Right. Brought me to Foxcraft the Taken. Again, I haven't read this book. It's about some. <laughs> it's about some fox characters. Anyway, I will flip to a random page and see what item I am proposing with. Should be interesting. Plant. All right, I'll take it. I'm impressed with the plant. Well, if he's from Snow White, then it's, then he should be glad it's not an apple. We've arrived at your wedding. Find the book using coordinates. Flip the page to the page number you were given. And the first piece of dialogue you find will be the first line of your vows. Well, if it's anything like my pickup line, it's not going to make any sense. Shelf two. It's this top one, because I'm counting the one in there as one. Two. About, again, there's about 15 books on there, so. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that brought me to a book called Freaks. Well, this will be interesting. It's about a haunted carnival. Let's see how this dialogue goes. What happened is my first line of dialogue. I don't know why it will have sticking around. I sound so stupid. <laughs> Next, it's honeymoon time. Wherever the book's location that your coordinates lead you to will be the destination for your lover's retreat. Okay, well, we already live at Hogwarts, so I don't really know where we can go that's more magical than that. But let's find out. So, 1 to 15, shelf 9. Again, that is my children's shelf, but go with it. 10. Okay, I'll be right back. So, 
somewhere around the corner. This is set in Australia. So we're going to honeymoon in Australia where I live in real life. So I moved away from Australia to <laughs> move to Hogwarts just to come just to honeymoon back in Australia. I don't know if I'm clever or I'm still very stupid. Okay. Things got a little crazy on the honeymoon. And now we're expecting a baby. Lived in its coordinates, find your next book, and flip to the page to the page number you were given. The first name you find will be the name of your firstborn child. Wow, so he's really committing to this idiot for, for at least 18 years of this kid's life. Anyway, let's do it. Nine. We're back down on that shelf. Huh. All right. I'll be right back. And that brought me to Danny, the champion of the world. I rolled out. Does Danny count as a name? Well, that is the first name I saw, but I didn't technically flip to the page. So, one of my mental. Yeah, it's still Danny. So, Danny is the name of my child. We're time jumping five years in the future, and your child is desperately begging for a pet. Find a book with your coordinates. Flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first creature you come across will be your pet. If you can't find a creature, then the first object you find will have to be used as a pet replacement. Alright. Shelf one. That is, in my, that is in there. And that brought me to All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dilla. I think that's how you pronounce his name. It's dusty. Again, I will flip around the page and see what I find. Okay. There's no animals on this page, but I did see the word library. So, Danny is getting a pet library. I'd be okay with that. <laughs> your child is going to school. Find the book using your coordinates, flip the page in the book you were given, and using words on that page, create the name of the school. Okay. 1 to 15 again. That brought me to shelf one again. A magical spirit. That brought me to Amari and the Night Brothers. But we already live in Hogwarts, so I don't really know why he needs another school. Anyway, Amari and the Night Brothers. Let's run thing with the magic school thing. And again, flip to random page. And we'll see what I can find. We've got trainees, cakes, cookies, pies, rankings. <laughs> With Junior Agents Conference Academy. Yep. <laughs> We'll go with that. You decide to start a YouTube for a side chip, for a side hobby. Find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page that you were given, and find something on that page that will be the core topic of your channel. Shelf five. That's my bottom shelf. The full shelf, so I'll just go with about. I think I can fit about 13 books on there. Check book one. Okay, be right back. And that brought me to Dracula. Okay, now what was the question again? Oh, no, now I forget the question. Okay, YouTube channel topic. It's Dracula, so I'm pretty sure it'll be about vampires, which I'm okay with. Just to make sure. 
It's about Van Helsing. So, vampires. Cool. Okay, and now I'm finding the YouTube channel name using random words on the page. Okay, 15, six. Again, that's that big shelf. 25, because there's enough books up there. 22. We're back to the Harry Potter theme. Ow. Ow. With Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Now, this is a very long book, but I've got to find a channel name on it. So, we'll flip to random page and see what we get. We've got the Hide Behind. Pray. Offspring. Hi. <laughs> it's a channel about vampires with the <laughs> with the name Hide Behind New World. Yeah, we'll go with that. Flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first piece of dialogue you see is how you'll treat your viewers each time you start a video. Okay, one second, between one and fifteen, seven, six, seven, okay, that takes me to there, it's a full shelf again, so I'm going to go with about fourteen, put fourteen, all right, be right back. And I don't look back because I miscounted on that shelf. We ended up at the list. Which by Patricia Ford, which again I have not read. But anyway, we'll just we'll flip to a random page and see what I find as a YouTube greeting. Come. Come is the first line of dialogue I find. Eh, I could work with that. Like, come. Come aboard this next tale of vampires. Yeah, that can work. Alright. And if it wasn't busy enough, I've now decided to write a book. Find your coordinates, or to the page number you were given, and using words on that page, create a book title. That took me to shelf 15. Lay about seven books on it. All right. Book four. One moment. And that brought me to England There, England, which was written by a Scot. And it's a satire about life in England. Anyway, let's open it and see what we find. We have, ooh, the perpetuation of eternity. Hmm. <laughs> I actually like that. We're going with, I don't need to look up anything else. We're going with that. The book using coordinates, flip to page number you were given. And the first line you see will be the opening line for your book. <clears throat> okay. Draft 12. Six, eight, nine, twelve. Okay. Five. Right, I should be right back again. That brought me to City of Villains, which is a Disney retelling in the DC world. 
city of Bones. What am I finding? So, oh yeah, opening a lot of my book. Well, let's give it a let's give it a look. I thought I could come home and get myself together, figure out what figure out what to say to Bella, maybe even find my boyfriend. But I walked into the front door of the naturalist in the living room, and Jaya is incandescent playing hostess. That's mysterious. Plot twist. The reason you even created a no identity for yourself is because the killer was after you. Now that you're a mega famous author and YouTuber, they've tracked you down and again are coming after you. Find the book using coordinates, flip to the page number you were given, and the first character you see will be your killer. Okay. Let's do it. I wonder who's going to kill me. Six. That's the big shelf up there again. Again, one to twenty-five. Four. Okay, so that brings me to the Miserable Mill by Lemony Snicket. So Lemony Snicket is going to decide my killer. Okay, random page, and let's see what happens. Violet. I got killed by Violet. It's a whiny bitch anyway. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love Violet. I just don't like being killed by her. One day, you're setting up to film a YouTube video when suddenly you're struck by the killer. Find the book using coordinates, flip to the flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first object to come across is what they used to kill you. Okay. Five. Okay, that is my classic shelf. Well, meant to be classic shelf, but not completely. Let's go. Eleven. Book six. That brought me to Treasure Island. An old battered copy of Treasure Island that again I got from my grandmother's house. Wait, let's see what Violet is going to kill me with in Treasure Island. A musket barrel. So I get ki I get killed by a barrel. I would ask where kids getting that, but knowing where the burglars have gone, it's probably not that hard. Okay, and the last question. Find the book using coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first line you see will go in your tombstone. Okay, so I guess I'm dead. So I guess the 13 year old did kill me. Again, it's shelf six. And book one. <sighs> and again, we're back to the, we're back to the Baudelaire shelf. Well, this time it's one that we've counter left. So, let's see what the Baudelaire's give me in terms of a tombstone. Let's begin. <laughs> the first line I see is what? Yeah, I'll go with it. What? And that is the last thing anyone will ever see about. We'll see from Root, the Hogwarts DJ. <laughs> so this is actually really fun. And I will tag the original video in my box below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.